Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Carib Spice. So full confession, I recorded this video about a couple of weeks ago and um, I accidentally deleted the video. So here I am trying to make this all over again, but hopefully the second time is a better time. This question came from one of my subscribers. I'm going to include the, well not a question, but the comment right now. So thank you so much for your comment and for encouraging me to go ahead and make this supplement review. I'm trying to do more of these types of videos per your request. Full disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a dietitian, I'm not a doctor. I am a, my background is, background is chemistry and I am a high school chemistry teacher but I also have um, really good knowledge on these supplements and how they work and by working with my healthcare providers, my doctors, I also have a herbalist, um, I have a naturopath if you want to say that, um, and someone who has extensive knowledge in uh, alternative medicine. I was able to come up with a regimen, a supplement regimen to help me address some of the issues that I've been dealing with. Um, just as how I received this information, I had to do my research, I had to get my blood work done so I know where I'm starting. Okay, I'm not gonna take something, just take something blindly and you know, I don't work like that, that's not me. So I had my blood work done and then I had a good idea of what I needed to do to get from point A to point B. All right, so first of all guys, um, there are some supplements that I will never live without. So the first supplement that I'm gonna talk about is, um, so first of all, these supplements are CoQ10, Magnesium, and fish oil. Now, give or take, I will go between brands because I've tried brands, several brands that I've liked. It's just that I'm on these brands right now. Um, I will always be taking these supplements. So, first of all, magnesium. And it's by Doctor's Best. This time I'm taking magnesium by Doctor's Best. I did an entire video on magnesium, so I'm not gonna talk too much about that. I will link that video, please check it out. Uh, magnesium has single-handedly changed my entire life. Magnesium on its own um, has gotten rid of or helped me to get rid of my migraine issues for a while there back in 2018. I was really struggling with migraines. I had like a migraine almost two, three times a week that would last for several hours, even days. And um, when I started taking magnesium, that is when I noticed a change in my headaches and those migraines are basically gone. They have disappeared. Um, it helps to relax me. It helps to um, fight anxiety and depression, okay? Because it's a relaxer. It doesn't make you sleepy. It just relaxes you. Um, and magnesium was also very instrumental in getting rid of my tension headaches. I always felt my tension headaches not only at the back of my head, but my, my neck and my shoulders. And even now, if I feel a little bit tense, like something upsets me, which happens from time to time, and I start feeling tense up or the tension, I will take two of these capsules and like that, within half an hour, that disappears. So magnesium is really, really instrumental to me. Also, uh, magnesium is very good for heart health, your cardiovascular health. Um, and I'm gonna mention um, the fact that I had preeclampsia or eclampsia. I'm gonna talk about why magnesium is gonna be one of my staple, my staple supplements. Um, the form I tend to go with is chelated magnesium. Um, chelated means that it's just easily absorbed. And just a little tip from my little background, always try to go for magnesium with the eight endings so magnesium carbonate magnesium glycinate magnesium fluorate um, as opposed to the i so magnesium chloride magnesium oxide 
the eyes tend to really be poorly absorbed um, and because of that it can give you a loose bowel a loose stomach diarrhea so um, try to stick with the eight forms of the magnesium okay so right now what I'm using in this one is magnesium um, lysinate glycinate and it's chelated so the other um, supplement that I want to mention here is the mega food blood builder these are very popular at Target. You can find them in any Whole Foods supplement store like Whole Foods or Sprouts. And the reason why I started taking this after my second pregnancy, my second C-section in particular, so I lost some blood. I had to get like two transfusions and things like that. When I got home after my hospital stay, I felt really, really miserable. Like I had no energy to go from the kitchen, the sink to... <laughs> Believe it or not, the sink to the fridge felt like a task. To go from the dining table to the bedroom felt like a task. And I'm like, you know, the fact that I have a toddler and I have all these things going on, um, you know, I had to be back and forth in between BQ. I needed something, I needed help. And so after a little bit of research, I decided to go with this supplement. And what a difference. This is my third bottle. It took about six weeks to feel anything different noticeably different um, it says on here it will take about eight weeks so that's the thing about supplements they're not going to always work instantly like you know magnesium you can take magnesium and you can feel relaxed the same day especially if you're taking the powdered magnesium calm it works almost immediately but something like this the blood builder is gonna take several weeks but it was worth the wait um, this so, you know, sometimes when my iron, when I was younger, my iron level was too high. I would get like really bad headaches. I don't have those side effects. I don't have any side effects while on this. It's very, very good for people who can, um, who tend to be on the higher iron level side. But the fact that I had lost blood and I needed transfusions and so I needed to, I needed blood help anyway. So I decided to go with this supplement. And this has single-handedly made a lot of difference for me um, postpartum. So I'll continue taking it for a while, okay? For a while, especially having, um, you know, to deal with two now, two kids. Um, this is like a, a big help. Um, the next uh, supplement is um, B-Complex. So I've been taking B-Complex supplements for a while. I've dabbled between brands. This is the brand. This is one brand I'm going to stick with. I'm taking this for nerve health and also immune health. Um, I was taking a B supplement with vitamin E and uh, magnesium to help address my headaches, um, but I'm going to give this more credit for helping with my nerve issues. If you look back at one of my anxiety videos, you guys know for several months I've been experiencing twitching and random tremors and things like that, and part of addressing that was um, getting on a B complex and so um, that is why I'm taking this supplement is really to address my nerve health issue then there is CoQ10 okay this is another one I'm gonna be taking for forever CoQ10 is found naturally in our body but it's depleted with age it's also depleted with um, if you're taking any drugs for cholesterol like satin drugs so this is a great way to replenish the CoQ10 in your body. When I was discharged from the hospital, well, my doctor told me to continue taking this. In the long run, it's going to really, really give my cardiovascular system what it needs. So I'm taking this for energy production, especially my heart. It helps with the uh, synthesis of protein. And um, as I mentioned, it helps with um, fighting off the effects of statin drugs. Statin drugs, that's what you take for high cholesterol in your body. Um, any of these supplements, to be honest with you, I do take a therapeutic dose. I'm not going to share that with you because um, I had to do that research based on my blood work. Um, so, of course, if you're just buying a supplement, you go with what's suggested on the, um, you know, on the container, okay, on the back of the container. But I work with an um, alternative medicine doctor, and so I was told what levels or what dosage to take. And so by doing that, these all of these supplements have really made a huge difference for me. 
all right so you um you guys know that i ended up having my baby delivered at 29 weeks due to eclampsia um that is an issue where your blood pressure skyrockets in a short space of time and um it can be detrimental if it's not addressed so i can also link this video if you want to check that out it was a very dark time for me a very scary time for me i still am dealing with the effects of eclampsia i didn't know this would have been a thing but i have heard several women across the world um can deal with these issues for a good solid two years before feeling better and actually clinically showing improvement I hope I'm not one of those, but it seems as though I'll be one of those because I'm already five months, almost five months postpartum, just shy for a few days, and I am still um, on medication for that. So with that said, I am using beetroot extract, I am using magnesium, CoQ10, and D3 to help address the eclampsia issues, the blood pressure issues. These supplements have been very, very helpful. I know there are other supplements out there that I talked about on my channel, like aged garlic, for example. Um, the reason why I'm not taking certain supplements is because I'm still breastfeeding. And I have to be very mindful of the fact that I'm st still breastfeeding because um supplements get passed on through breast milk okay so okay so i just wanted to put that out there so that's it um these are the supplements that i'm taking for um stress and anxiety for nerve health for muscle health and blood pressure and energy production i know it's a lot under the umbrella but always bear in mind that one supplement may address several issues and I wanted to knock this out in one big video. I appreciate you guys looking on. Thank you again to the subscriber who asked or who gave me that suggestion of doing a supplement review. I do struggle sometimes with what you guys want to see. I cannot always do um, weight training, especially now that I'm home and I'm, I'm not going to the gym. Uh, but there is also so much more that goes into the lifestyle, like the diet and the supplements and things like that, that I feel like, you know, I put it out there and then you guys already watch, but I hope this video helps some of you anyway. Um, and that's it. So until next time, let's remain, uh, strong during this pandemic. It's really a stressful time for everyone. I hope you find comfort in some of these challenges. And um, I appreciate you and until next time, peace.